Good afternoon all. Slight problem with the CH340 based Giuliano Chorizo uh, USB to serial converter and that is that JLC PCB currently have zero stock of the basic part CH340G. Oh dear, I can't build my Chorizo project. Never mind, let's change direction and have a look for a CP2102 USB to serial converter. And uh, yeah, basic part, Silicon Labs, 979 of the CP2102 GMR. That's good. Let's get started on a new project. This search facility, incidentally, jlcpcb.com forward slash parts, and uh, you can click this basic parts tick box, and that only shows basic parts, which means it's very easy to narrow in on basic parts. If that's what you're after, you can also tick in stock, and of course this one is. And I do have a couple of these CP2102 boards from years ago. One of them I've modified, it's this one. The modification's quite subtle though. Well, what I mean is it's quite hard to see. It's that piece of wire which I've soldered to one of the unused pins on the CP2102 and linked it over to the reset connector. I also drilled out that via on the underside that's connected to reset so that it's no longer connected to reset. There appears to be a reset pin on the CP2102 so that you can reset it externally. Not sure why you'd want to do that. But what I chose to do here is to bring out, I think it's RTS on this one, but I could use uh, DSR just as well. Bring that out so that I can use that signal to reset my Arduino. So here we are in Easy EDA. This is the schematic. Um, there's nothing unusual here. I have added this 4K7 pull up on RST. You don't have to do it, but it says it improves noise immunity. I suppose the most interesting thing here is that I've put uh, a blue LED across the power rails coming from the USB connector. So that's five volts with a 2K2 resistor and red and green LEDs on the TX and RX uh, outputs. The little board I showed earlier only had the one LED, which they called data, but I thought I'd have both. And I thought I'd go for the three different colors. And here's my PCB layout, uh, Giuliano Chili Pepper. Uh, it's got the USB mini B with through hole pins on here because I want to do that first then I'll move on to surface mount there's the CP2102 and here is a six pin connector with five volts ground TX RX I'll to label these DTR and RTS so that's the labeling done I did it as one continuous string so it doesn't quite line up but it was easier than doing six separate text fields uh, right I'm just going to make the copper area on the top visible to check that it's uh, correct and if I do a shift B it will rebuild it anyway and then I'm also going to put a copper area on the bottom uh, just to save on uh, copper being etched away so let's do that now and so that's the copper area on the bottom I think I've used all default settings for the copper area uh, just switch back to the top copper area, which looks like that. I'll brighten it up by selecting the top layer. So I think that's ready to go. Next thing is the bill of materials. So here's my bomb as it is at the moment. Now the three LEDs I think I'm going to do first. We've got blue, green and red. They're all 0603s. But these are just the parts uh, that are in the EELib, the simple library. Now I need to make sure that I'm getting basic parts. So actually, back to the JLC PCB parts list, 
and I've gone into the light emitting diodes LED uh, section. I've got my basic parts box ticked. And so what we can see here is that we've got uh, yellow 0805, yellow 0603, whatever that is, that, a white 0603, green 0603, some 0805 thing, there's a blue 8, uh, 0603 here, and there's a red 0603 here. So we have all the colors in 0603, and it looks like 0805, but I'm using 0603. So I can start picking items out of this list and transferring them into my, or selecting them into my BOM. So if I hover over the items in the BOM list, ah, now you might not see those hover boxes, but basically they're the full expansion of this manufacturer part number. Uh, the blue is correct. I've written these down on a piece of paper. The green is also correct, but the red is not. Uh, because this one is not a basic part. So I need to assign LCSC part and go through here. Well, the best thing probably is to type in the part number for the red. I'll try it in the wrong case. KT-0603R. Let's see if it can find it with the wrong case. Uh, yes, it appears to have done so. So I want this one, lead 0603-R-RD. I know from the JLC PCB SMT parts page that that is the correct part. So let's assign it to my bomb. So I now know that all my LEDs are 0603 and basic parts. So now I'm going through the resistors. I've done the 4K7. Let's do the 2K2 uh, on screen. Now, it's 2K2 brings up so many resistors, it looks like it's easier to search for 2201. So let's do that, 2201. That just doesn't seem to bring up quite so many. And uh, there we have a basic part, R0603. Um, so that will do, 2K20603, assign that. And I did the exact same thing for the 4K7. I will do the exact same thing for the 1Ks. In fact, let's do it just to make sure that it's consistent. So 1K will be 1001. 1001, search. And we have four basic parts, and there is an 0603, so let's select that, 1K 0603, 1001 was my search term, assign that, and yes, all these part numbers are very, very similar. So that's my resistors done, just got to do, I'm not doing the header, and I'm not having the uh, mini USB put on, so I just need to do the 100N and the 1000N or 1 microfarad capacitors. I'll go for MLCC. Well, the 1 microfarad um, 0603 basic was much harder to track down, but I've got it with a search for CL10A 105K, and here we have a 1 microfarad 0603 basic part. It's 10% um, 50 volts, so that's absolutely fine assign that and I think we're done. Excellent. So that's it. I've exported BOM and pick and place files. So let's now do a Gerber export. I'll check the connections but I know there are problems with these four which I've not connected to anything. That's fine. Let's ignore it this time. No, keep going. Uh, we'll do a DRC check. No DRC errors, so we're on our way. So let's select, select red, and um, that's about it. So now I'll go through the ordering process, get this sent off, and then that'll be back soon, and we can take a look at it for the moment. Cheerio.